Okay guys, it should work this way. And when the rotating magnetic fields start to rotate, the bars inside here, which is already energized by the DC magnetic uh, field, should follow the rotating magnetic fields. But in actual uh, situation, the rotating here is too fast, very fast. 50 hertz means that it turns in uh, 50 times per second. And, and the bars could not catch up with the rotation. So what happens is that it won't turn. To follow the rotation of the magnetic fields, rotating magnetic fields. So nowadays we have a technology whereby we can start the rotating field uh, gradually and we increase uh, bit by bit or from uh, let's say from uh, 1 hertz uh, or 5 hertz, 10 hertz, then up to 550 hertz. But at the earlier stage, there is no method of uh, uh, how to reduce the speed. So we have a problem on that. So how are we going to cater this kind of issues? We shall discuss uh, and the method of starting on this kind of uh, synchronous motor. So it means that you cannot uh, catch uh, the speed. So what we do is that we have to have some sort of uh, external force to rotate the shaft and motor must be accelerated before it can pull into synchronization and means that we have uh, to cater or we have to input and to uh, help the stator uh, sorry the shaft or the motor itself to start by separate starting uh, means so because the synchronous motor itself uh, it has no starting top and the rotating of the magnetic fields, outer magnetic field is too fast so you cannot pull the shaft and especially when the shaft is already attached to the load it's very heavy and so you cannot start follows the rotating magnetic fields so synchronous motor only produce torque only when it's running at synchronous speed and at synchronous speed for sure uh, it has a power but before it starts so actually it cannot and pull any kind of load. So how to start the synchronous motor? So we have three starting motor methods. One is by reducing the stator frequency to a safe le starting level. Means that we start it uh, gradually, bit by bit, reduce the speed to the certain motor midfield to allow uh, to, to a, a range which is low enough such that the rotor can follow and the magnetic field. And it locks during half cycle of the rotation so how it can be achieved by reducing the frequency of the applied electric power and we can use uh, inverter currently but previously it cannot be done another kind of uh, starting method is by using external prime mover attach the shaft itself to the instead of we attach to the load we attach to the generator and generate uh, we attach to the another kind of motor, induction motor let's say. So external prime mover to accelerate the shaft up to the synchronous speed, near the synchronous speed. Then we parallel with the, uh, with the motor. Uh, means that once the motor start to rotate near the synchronous speed, we turn off the prime mover. So the synchronous motor will keep turn follow there. And I think, uh, rotating uh, force another one is using damper winding which is so called amortizer winding so this uh, winding acts like induction motor uh, construction and uh, induction motor uh, cross short circuit bar and uh, a series of solid connector pass through each hole means that con the construction just like uh, induction motor um, bar and square cage bar and so this solid connector short circuit at each of the end of machine uh, winding is called, called, called amortizer or damper winding because it is uh, uh, the construction so called amortizer means uh, it is protected and can be seen if the field winding is turned off 
the amount of the windings we add like an induction machine uh, square cache kind of a machine that provide enough torque to accelerate the motor so we have a slip but still it has a force so it can follow the rotating magnetic field so once the motor reach near uh, the synchronous speed uh, the right current will be applied to the field winding and the field winding will turn the shaft uh, and the motor will synchronize so the amortizer winding also acts as a dampen speed pressure means that whereby we have a sudden load changes uh, increase or decrease this winding will stabilize uh, that just the transient load condition by reducing the magnetic of the uh, power and torque transient so anything happen to the load changes and we increase the load we decrease the load so this uh, amortizer winding will act just like a induction motor behavior so the transient means the changes will not affect too much to the motor okay the best method of starting second motor to the connected or system is this kind of uh, methods uh, uh, amortizer winding equation this is how the windings or the amortizer windings is like so we attach the bar here the end to the end and each of the bar will be short circuit but we have separate and we are not stabilized all around the uh, surface and because we have to put the coil to induce DC uh, to the uh, poles and because this is synchronous uh, motor and synchronous motor we have to put uh, magnetic coil connected to DC to produce uh, magnetic poles and static magnetic poles on the shaft Okay, reactive power, field current, and uh, reactive power. Uh, if uh, field current, uh, we induce field current to the uh, poles. So the synchronous motor actually will always consume uh, reactive power, whether it operates as generator or motor, and uh, because we have inductor kind of element on the uh, windings. So it consume just like an inductor lah, and consume reactive power. If the magnetic, magnetic field of rotor is too weak or low compared to the requirement of your load, so there will be uh, consuming and the motor will consume your reactive power from the line. It produce or it behave like a inductor when the field uh, intensity or field current is low so it will contribute almost all the power from the rotating field the second motor supplies rotating power like a capacitor when the field is strong so if your field current is strong so it will behave like a capacitor if low it will behave like inductor so let's say if we move and we take the load we connect the load at certain let's say certain range a certain range this is ia amateur means that we have if we run the motor we will maybe consume the current up to this level and uh, if we adjust the field and when we run the motor we adjust the field current the connected uh, current dc current to the shaft uh, poles to the internal pole of this so what happens that when we increase the intensity of the field current gradually so we shall see that and the curve will be like this let's say this is the curve of no load and no load curve means that maybe the no load still we have a consuming current out of the armature due to resistance of the series resistance so we shall see that the the armature current itself and we reduce, uh, we reduce, uh, we increase the field. Sorry, this is the the curve. It will reduce to zero, and this is unity power factor. Once the field increase, so we shall see the how much current will increase, and so it will reduce, decrease, and increase. 
if let's say we have a full load condition and you see still, still will reduce but down to the certain level of unity power factor then it increase so on the left hand side at this condition the motor will absorb and the reactive power q after your field intensity current increase and exceeds the requirement or the uh, the minimum level of uh, requirement of the motor so the there will be a leading power factor means that you will supply q to the line so it incorporate as at any electrical power factor leading or lagging for this motor unity at unity or at lagging or at leading so it will depend on the dc power supply that given to the uh, rotating pole so if you increase the intensity of field current from zero to maximum you shall see the changes of behavior of the motor from lagging means that it absorb electric power down to unity then leading and it provides q to the line or to the uh, to the source and so ia or amateur current and field current this is the trend uh, it will reduce means that it consume q uh, then down to zero then it supply and q the amateur current can be minimized by setting the field current to appropriate value so we can reduce the amateur current by adjusting the field current and the field current is need to minimize the the field current is need to minimize the amateur current the motor reactive power will be decreased until zero so we can see the trend here and minimize when we adjust the field current so it shows here the ia versus field current and for three phase synchronous motor at no load operation no load operation will reduce, reduce to zero and but when we put load and at load the third uh, it will not reduce down to zero but it reduces to the level of load at uni unity power factor lah. and at one power factor means that uh, the p and q at same level so it has some readings on the amateur current and, but if you ref uh, further increase your field current you shall have a q that which is generated and supplied to the source or to the line so over here we can uh, name it as over excitation means that we excite more than what required by the the motor if uh, the part here we call under excitation uh, the power factor is leading uh, power factor sorry for motor we are talking about motor now the power factor is lagging and if this part or the right hand side the power factor is leading okay so if we plot in term of a uh, curve and in the facet diagram it will be like this and leading power factor and the ia leads lagging power factor the amateur current will lag and unity power factor and how much current and your phase voltage will be in the single line and so lagging leading and unity power factor so uh, it brief here the case of the leading lagging and unity power factor you can read through uh, on the right hand side will be over excited if left hand side will be under excited if on the medium lines here will be unity power factor so this ability uh, of the motor we can control and we can control and manipulate the motor to be a power factor correction device which uh, the motor is connected lah. you connect to the lines it can behave like 
power condenser and you can